Welcome back to Just Scribble for a Chic Sparrow unboxing. I think one of the things that having my channel has taught me the most is patience because when I get an order, I wait to open it so that I can share it with you guys and sometimes that is so hard and that is definitely the case with this order. You guys know that I am a huge fan of the March Hair Leather from the Carol Collection. And so I decided that I would order an A5 folio in that leather because I wanted to make sure that I had that leather in all of my favorite sizes and styles before it goes away. So I ordered an A5 folio in the March Hair Leather and I want to unbox it with you guys real quick and show you what it looks like. So we have the envelope with the card you guys are familiar with. It talks about full grain leather and all of its natural imperfections. We have my packing slip with my order notes. What I wrote on it is that I want lots of character, fat rolls, wrinkles, and color variations. I don't know that I will get any of those, but it never hurts to ask, so I thought I would put it down. And then this is the sticker I got, the cute little bird inside the little Christmas mug with the candy cane. And we're gonna open it up. I did opt to get an elastic closure on this folio, my other A5 folio, my Hemingway Havana. It does not have an elastic closure. It wasn't something they offered at the time that I ordered it. So I decided to get it on this one because it is a little bit of a softer, floppier leather. And I just wanted to make sure that I had that on there to ensure that it stayed closed. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So they did deliver my, <laughs> so they did deliver my order notes. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think I'm shaking. I'm so excited. This is so, so gorgeous. Look, wrinkles and rolls and scars. Oh my, I'm so excited. This is the inside of my folio. You can see the color variation that I have over here. Tons of character. The little barb that they use. I have a video on this on how to install barbs into your notebooks if you guys want to check that out. If you want to put a barb on one of your folios or traveler's notebooks. Oh look at this. I am so glad I decided to order. I am so very excited. This is absolute perfection. I am beyond excited. I cannot tell you guys. I am grinning from ear to ear. I just love this. Oh, okay. So we're going to put a notebook in it real quick and then I'll let you guys go. So I thought oh, if I can do this without knocking everything over. So I thought that I would put my Wonderland 222 notebook. This is their plain notebook. This is from 2020's line. For 2021, they have a different cover, which I shared in a recent unboxing. So I'll put that up above in case you want to check it out. But I'm not a fan of the green cover on this. And I can cover this with wrapping paper or vinyl or stickers or what have you. But I thought it would be perfect just to stick inside a leather folio. And that way I would have the beautiful Tamoy River paper with the grid. It has numbered pages, it has spots for your dates. It has an index at the front and I thought it would be the perfect fit for this folio. So we're going to put that in there. I will eventually cut these little ties off. I am not a fan of ties in my notebooks and my planners. I cut them off of everything. But we're going to slide this in. When you first get a folio, it is a very slim fit, which is good. That's what you want. But it can take a little bit of elbow grease to get your notebook into your folio. What Jennifer usually suggests is that you put your folio kind of this way and your notebook, let me see if I can do this. I'm never very good at this on camera. What Jennifer usually suggests is that you kind of put it like this and you insert it sort of backwards on itself because then it kind of slides in a little bit easier. And so basically you'd be folding it back and letting that cover slide in and then you're not messing with your notebook and bending your notebook too much. So I'm gonna scoot that on the side. 
when you first get it in there, you do have to do a little bit of massaging because it is a tight fit. If you haven't kind of broken in the spine, you will kind of have to wiggle and jiggle and move it around a little bit to get it in there nice and snug. So I'm gonna do that. But there is a way to soften up the spine, which I think I showed you guys. I should have done it on this one before I put my notebook in there. Let me grab this one. So this is my B6 Slim Havana. So when you don't have your notebook in there, let me take this notebook out. If you put the notebook in between the palm of your hands and you roll and sort of squeegee the spine like this all the way up and down on your folio, it will soften that spine leather up some and then your notebook will fit a lot easier. It'll just kind of slide in there better and it'll hug it better. Otherwise it takes a little bit of time for the spine to sort of loosen up and get that fit that you're wanting where it lays nice and flat from the get go. But once you do that, then your notebook lays in there all nice. So this is actually a much firmer, stiffer leather and it stays closed and it has a nice fit. So I will probably actually do that to this spine just to kind of soften it up a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys what my Wonderland notebook looks like inside. Oh, I am so excited. This is so gorgeous. This is one of my favorite leathers from Chic Sparrow. I've actually been using this leather for quite a while this year because I have been using a prototype Jennifer made out of a scrap piece of the March Hare leather and I've been using it for um, about six months or so. And so I love this leather and I have been waiting for the launch and I now have several notebooks in this leather and I am so excited to have my A5 folio in this leather and this piece could not be more gorgeous. I am so excited. So the elastic closure keeps everything nice and tight in there. It lays flat when I open it. My Tomoe River notebook lays flat as well from Wonderland 222. I am just ecstatic. And if I wanted to, I could actually add a pen loop to this. I could put one of the pen loops from Chic Sparrow, their glue in pen loops. I could actually put it on this page and I could put it in there. But most of the time with an elastic closure in a folio, I really just stick my pen inside the elastic like this and I hold it there. I am really excited about the release of the new removable pen loops that Chic Sparrow is going to be offering in 2021 because Jennifer might be adding that to the folios and so that way you would have an option to put a removable pen loop on your folio and it would fit right here and slide in which would be a nice addition to the folios but i'm perfectly okay without having a pen loop as well most of my folios from chic sparrow and other makers do not have pen loops but that is my cover and my quick unboxing of my gorgeous march hair a5 folio from chic sparrow i am just so excited and over the moon with this piece of leather and this notebook and i could not be happier what do you guys think of this leather? Do you guys have a March hair? Have you tried out the leather? Have you tried out any of the leathers from the Carol collection? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear from you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this quick unboxing of my gorgeous A5 folio. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget to just scribble.